Good morning, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. We're starting on a mild note in the mid 40s with some light rain showers, especially from Grand Rapids off to the south and east. They're a little bit steadier along uh, in south of the I-94 corridor and more on that in just a second. So some drops this morning, maybe some light snow showers, flakes or flurries later this afternoon as the temperatures fall into the evening and the overnight hours, especially along and west of US 131. So that's the other headline. Temperatures will fall today. Our warmest temperatures actually occurred several hours ago at midnight. We were 47 in Grand Rapids. We're 44 right now. They're going to fall into the 30s as we head on through the day and the winds are going to pick up just a little bit. Not as windy as it was yesterday, but breezy today, colder for tomorrow and beyond. Wait until you see the temperatures that are lurking off to our north and west. All this green is light rain or in some cases some steady rain. As you go south and east of Grand Rapids, you see these bands uh, of darker green. That's more of a steadier rain that's going on. There's nothing strong or severe or heavy here. And in fact, most of the rain I think today will be from Grand Rapids off to the south and east. If you're north and west of Grand Rapids, unless something develops, you may not see anything because there's nothing on radar up in those areas right now. The other thing, the winds. We're not windy right now. We'll, we'll get a little bit breezy today. These are the uh, forecast wind speeds. The larger, wider number is a two minute sustained wind. The G numbers are the gust numbers. This is at 9 a.m. Watch the colors start to show up on the map. Those colors are tied to the wind speeds. So as they show up, the winds ramp up a little bit at about 10 to 15, maybe 10 to 20 miles per hour. And they'll come in behind this cold front out of the north and west. And that's what's going to funnel in that colder air. We call that cold air advection. We are advecting or transporting the air from off to the north and west. And here you're going to see the temperatures fall. Not so much right now. Now, coldest spot on the map, 39 degrees up there in Big Rapids and Mount Pleasant. We're 44 in Grand Rapids, 49 in Muskegon. Keep in mind when you look at this, these numbers this morning for November 25th, Thanksgiving Day, our average high temperature for the this time of the year is 44, and that's where we're sitting right now. And this is the morning low, so to speak. But you don't have to look far. You go upstream or off to the north and west. Temperatures drop into the 30s in Green Bay, much the same in La Crosse. It's in the teens in the Twin Cities out here, and it's in the single digits out of the northern plains. This air mass is going to be moving our way. Yes, it will modify before it gets here, but suffice to say, temperatures are going to be dropping the second part of the day because the frontal system is sitting right here. We're out ahead of it. There's the push of milder air, but behind it on that northwest wind, we're going to advect or transport that colder air in here as we head on through the day. There's a corridor, some precip out there, but a lot of this is shifting off to the north and east and we're almost on the back edge of it, but we're already starting to see some snow showers form because of the colder air and the lift. So I would expect maybe some lake effect snow showers as we head through the mid to late afternoon, the evening and the overnight hours, especially along and west of US 131. Today, cloudy, breezy temperatures fall, rain and some snow showers at 47 degrees was already obtained. I think we'll fall into the 30s the second part of the day with a northwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like on the forecast model. We're out ahead of this system, but at 9 a.m. It's already shifting out of here, which means it's pushing the uh, milder air, pinching that off to the east. The colder air is going to come in behind it, and you can see the changeover to some lake effect snow showers as we get into later portions of the day. You could also see that northwest flow. So lake effect snow showers will likely continue overnight and into tomorrow morning, especially along and west of US 131. Colder air is in place for Friday with highs only in the lower 30s. And there's another clipper system that's going to be moving our way. And by the time we get into later Saturday, it may already be spreading some rain or snow around by that time. How much rain are we talking about from this system? It's not going to last all day, but we think the heaviest rain, which really isn't that heavy at all, will be along and south of I-94 off uh, to the north and west of Grand Rapids. You may not really see much of anything at all. So today, temperatures falling, rain and some snow showers later today. Some morning snow showers, flakes or flurries tomorrow. Highs only around 33 degrees and the best chance of those snow showers will be along and west of US 131. 37 degrees on Saturday and then that next clipper system comes in Saturday into Sunday. There may be some rain or snow showers there, maybe an inch or two of accumulation possible. And for the beginning of next week, we're only in the upper 30s to around the 40 degree mark, slightly below normal. Ladies.